kitchen where the fork saga of our studio continues. This is why we needed the fork because we are <laughs> going to have fun talking about over 100 types of wine and delicious food. Exactly. Did we get your attention? It is the annual signature fundraiser for the Florida Aquarium and joining me with a preview of what your taste buds can indulge in are the aquarium Sandra Morrison right here and Craig Spurza from Sacred Pepper. Welcome to the show. Thank How you. are Thank you? Thank you so much. Thank you. I say I should say welcome back, but this is the first time this relationship has happened. Absolutely. And so, we're really happy to yeah. have Sacred Pepper on board. Oh, uh, we're excited. This, this is the event. Let's give an idea of how many years we were talking about this mm -hmm. and how popular it really is in the Tampa Bay area. Well, this will be the 18th annual Sea Grapes Food or a Wine and Food um, event. Um, it's a signature fundraising event for the Florida Aquarium. I mean, you know, the money that we raise goes to our conservation and research um, efforts, and it just helps the aquarium just continue to do the great work that it does in the Tampa Bay area and also the whole state of Florida. And let's be honest, we all like to eat and drink a little bit. And of course, that's where you come in. We're getting spoiled here in studio as well. What are you going to be making? Well, I'm going to make um, one of our signature items at yeah. the restaurant. It's, good. it's our sacred meatballs. Okay. Um, and basically what it is, we make them in-house. And they're uh, with, made with fresh veal and pork meatballs. And then they have some uh, cheese and some uh, parsley and some seasonings. Then we nice. take nice. it and we're going to... Um, yeah, take it away. Uh, <laughs> we're going to put a little ricotta cheese in, the, uh, in our baking dish. And so what we end up doing is we'll take that and we'll put it, put this in the oven and we get a little color, little toast on it. I like that. I so. like that. And while we're pulling that on the oven, let's talk about, the, of course, what makes the night so special. You are at the aquarium. You still get to see the exhibits, right? So it's an opportunity for adults to have an adult night at the aquarium. I mean, the adults will be able to have entertainment, live entertainment. They'll be able to mingle with folks, go to all our exhibits like the Heart of the Seas. They'll, you know, have in interaction with our 18 plus thousand animals and plants that call the Florida Aquarium their home. So they'll be able to just enjoy and have an adult night and mingle with our sea life at the Florida Aquarium. Meatballs are looking good, Chef. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So again, this is one example, and we touched on it already. This is the first time that you were involved. Why did yes. Sacred Pepper want to get involved with this this year? Well, I mean, it's a great event to, you know, obviously yeah. raise money for the aquarium. And this, like I said, this is our first time to do it. So it would be, it's an honor for us to um, take place in this and, and be part of the, you know, community. And like I said, the aquarium is a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, venue for this uh, event. So. And Meatballs, is that going to be one of the things you're serving yes, up? Yes, that's what are, we're going to be serving up at the uh, aquarium. The, um, they'll be a little bit smaller, so it'll be a little bit more easy to manage it will be, but the same product. This is, this is what, how we serve it in the restaurant. So I just thought I'd bring it by. So we have the ricotta cheese, the meatballs, and I'm going to put a little bit of um, some marinara sauce on top of it, in which their marinara is our made in house, and it's our um, candied nice. Bartolo's. <laughs> Is, is it her it's, recipe? It's her recipe. And when you come into the uh -huh. restaurant, if you, when you make it to the yes, restaurant, yes. you go back in, and on the back wall, there's her recipe that's etched in a, really? a mirror back there. Yeah, so um, she, uh, she, you know, wanted, I to, wanted to see it. Yeah, I mean, see. I knew it was their restaurant, but I didn't know. Good job, yep. Candy. I can't wait to uh, dive into these Perfect. as we're uh, seeing. <laughs> this, is this the finished product? Well, I'm going to finish it off right here. We're going to put a little bit of ricotta You're salt. Yeah, make it so much cheese. Yeah, get some more cheese because it wouldn't be, you know. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. So we'll put a little, grate a little bit of ricotta slotted on top of there. Ooh. And while he's topping this off, we can't stress enough. We're seeing over 100 types of wine. How many restaurants are involved? Because people are and, not going to go away hungry. And just to reiterate what Craig said, we wouldn't be able to do this with all the partners. We wouldn't be able to do it with the 30 plus restaurant partners that we ha have, the wines, you know, the wineries, and, and also just everybody that's, you know, playing a part in this. I mean, this is presented by Emily Motor Oil, and it's just, we wouldn't be able to do this signature event without the help of our partners and the Tampa Bay community at, at large. I love this. And again, you know what? I grabbed the fork. I don't even think I needed the fork because I'm going all bread on this one. <laughs> all all right. bread. Again, it was so nice to see the thank both you. of you. Well, thank you We need much. to go ahead and share information on how people can get tickets. Of course, tickets are recommended and are needed, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, again, we're going to share that information with you. In the meantime, I'm diving in. <laughs> but you know what? We're talking about the food and wine. There also are some other stars to this show. Of course, we're talking about some of the sea creatures, including perhaps a penguin, Carly? Is that who you're over there with? And this just isn't any penguin, Natalie. This is Pebbles the penguin, and we have Alex here to introduce us to him as well. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. And obviously this great event, 
Pebbles is a perfect excuse of what this event is for. Talk about what the, the conservation, uh, the efforts that are going on at the aquarium, why this event is so is so important. Absolutely. Uh, so just by coming and enjoying all the great food and wine that we have in Sea Grapes helps us save a lot of money for our conservation mm -hmm. fund and we'll donate to great places uh, that help conserve species like the African penguins since they are endangered. It also helps us with our coral restoration projects yeah. and our sea turtle rehabilitation. So enjoying it also helps us out a lot. So let's talk about this because this type, tell us what type of penguin and again I know this is the star of the show. People mm -hmm. come to the aquarium I, mainly a lot of the times for the penguins. Absolutely. But I don't think I realized how endangered they are. What are their numbers like? Tell us a little bit more. Of course. So um, he is considered an African black-footed penguin. Uh, so he's going to be from the Cape and Namibia. Okay. So he's going to the southern point of the continent. So he's so a beach super goer. Cold, yeah. Yeah, he's a beach goer just like we are in Florida. <laughs> um, and so unfortunately, uh, we uh, these guys are listed as endangered. Okay. Um, over a couple of decades, we had four million penguins, and we are down to fifty thousand currently. Wow. And one of the main reasons for that is um, how a little bit of habitat loss with people living in South Africa. Also, um, running out of seafood is okay. a big problem with for them in Namibia, where they can be found. We've completely fished their two favorite types of fish, sardines and anchovies, out of the ocean. No way. Um, and so that huh. means juveniles are moving on to other types of not so nutritious sea life, like jellies uh -huh. and gobies. So a big thing that we do at the Florida Aquarium is try to promote sustainable seafood. Okay. Uh, so probably anything that you can find that serves seafood um, at sea grapes will be sustainable. Oh, so that way cool. we're not impacting animals in the wild like the African penguins. Yeah, does breeding help? I mean, obviously you were just telling me you, you guys have a great relationship with um, Zoo Tampa as well. And mm -hmm. does that uh, help? So um, the breeding that we do in zoos and aquariums um, is mostly so that we have individuals so we don't have to take any out okay. of the wild to keep that population nice and healthy and growing in South Africa. Uh, here at the aquarium, we donate to places like Sand Cob, which is a saving seabirds okay. um, area in South Africa. And they help raise baby penguins that might Aww. be abandoned by parents. They also help do rehabilitation of injured penguins. Um, and they also help create nesting areas because of that habitat yeah. loss. So supporting the aquarium helps us support them. Oh, that's awesome. How long has Pebbles been with you guys? Uh, What's his kind of backstory? <laughs> Pebbles was actually born at the um, Henry Doily Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska. He's 12 years old, and now he's choosing to fly. Flirt, which okay. is nice. Oh, <laughs> um, I like that. So buddy. he's actually our second oldest in our little colony back okay. at the Florida Aquarium. So if he's 15, how long do they typically live for? So um, in the wild, they usually live 12 to 15 years. But oh, in zoos and aquariums, they can live into their 30s and early oh, 40s. Oh, wow. Yes, so we're going to have pebbles for many more years <laughs> to come, which obviously he's very excited yeah. about. <laughs> obviously, we're talking a lot about him and the penguins, but what are some of the uh, other animals that people can see, um, you know, on hand at this event? Um, at, on hand at the event, you're probably going to see our ring-tailed lemurs up okay. on our journey to Madagascar so area. Yes, they're absolutely wonderful animals. And then our North American river otters are mm -hmm. always super popular yeah. and they are pretty active and fun around at night and then of course our beautiful sharks especially in our new habitat the heart of the sea okay. we have those beautiful bonnet heads a large goliath grouper uh, so really it's a great it's a great time all the animals are, are beautifully yeah. beautifully seen um, even throughout the evening time well obviously we're talking about this event how you can help with them um, you know with the animals what can can we do anything throughout the year as well to help and well, donating to the Florida Aquarium really helps us with okay. pushing our conservation in initiatives, even just coming to visit us during the daytime, the price of your ticket is okay. going towards our conservation okay, fund. So just coming over and saying hi and meeting awesome animals like Pebbles here yeah. is a really great way to help these guys out in the wild. Well, thanks for coming in, Pebbles. You did good. We appreciate it. We'll put the details uh, on our screen here, and then we'll make sure and put it on our website as well. Pretty easy, though, to go and have a good time, enjoy some good food, some good wine, and know you're helping out the animals. Thank you for all you do. We Thank really love you. you guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us.